Congratulations, you finished week five of Denial 101X. We're now into the home stretch. This week, we looked at the impacts of climate change. Dana Michitawe, Kia Shaneman, and Peter Jacobs looked at the complex issue of climate sensitivity. When you add up all the different feedbacks in our climate system, just how sensitive is our climate to increasing greenhouse gases? Dana also looked at the impacts of climate change on species, the environment, and society, while our resident coral reef researcher, Ove Hogalberg, examined how ocean acidification is hitting our coral reefs. We also featured interviews with scientists who are researching the impacts of climate change. One highlight was our interview with Christine Husking, talking about her research into the impacts of climate change on koalas and agriculture. Of course, Pistachio the koala stole the show. He may not have published as much scientific research as Christine, but he certainly knew how to play to the camera. Another highlight was our trip to Heron Island, where we spoke to Sir David Attenborough and his scientists researching coral reef impacts. But it wasn't all just cuddly koalas and BBC royalty. We also spoke to scientists researching the impacts of warming on species and how heat waves are affecting humans. Next week is our last week of lectures. Yes, I know, it's sad news. We'll be addressing a key question. What does the science say about how to respond to science denial? We'll examine research into what happens when you communicate scientific evidence to people who deny the science. We'll look at several strands of research exploring how to neutralise the influence of misconceptions. And we'll look at the psychology of debunking. We'll finish off week six with the final assessment of Denial 101X, where you get to write a debunking of a myth and have it peer assessed by your fellow students. What strategies or techniques have you learned so far that might affect how you respond to climate myths? What is the most effective way of refuting a myth? Spoiler alert, some approaches can backfire. Be sure to share some of those initial ideas on this week's wrap-up discussion forum, and we'll see you in week six.